What's up guys, it's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another kitchen banger. We're gonna see who can make the best mac and cheese. Oh, God, all right, so we got good. all the ingredients right here. Everybody is on their own. This is an individual cooking video. We have literally every type of cheese you can think of. Yeah. Like actually every type of cheese you can think of. Name a cheese. Uh, Gouda. Got it. Gouda. Name a cheese. Uh, Gorgonzola. Got it. Gorgonzola. Name a cheese. Gorgonzola. Didn't get that because it's not really for mac and cheese. But every other type of cheese we got, we got a bunch of noodles, breadcrumbs. We literally have everything. So these guys are gonna have 35 minutes huh? to make the best mac and cheese dish that they possibly can, starting now. This looks like Zach's hair. <laughs> it does look like Zach's hair. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> 35 minutes? <laughs> Tournament time is officially here, so make sure you fill out your brackets and place your bets on who you think will rise to the top using my partners at DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, all new customers who bet just $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app using my code ZachTTG right now. That's right, all new customers who bet just $5 on anything will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. You can stay in on the action by using your $150 in bonus bets and putting it towards a same game parlay for a shot at even bigger winnings. Doing that, you'll combine multiple bets together from the same game, like total number of points and total rebounds by your favorite player and more. If sports betting isn't available in your state yet, don't worry, you can still get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a shot to win some cash prizes. So download the DraftKings app right now, bet just $5 and you'll get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Use my promo code ZachTTG, that's Z-A-C-K-T-T-G. Sign up right now only on DraftKings Sportsbook. Too fast. Everybody choose your weapon. I'm using a Caraway. So these guys are gonna be judged on the tenderness of their noodle, noodle texture, cheesiness, obviously, taste, and then presentation. And the cheese has a lot to do with that presentation. The fifth and final oh, category damn, is gonna be one. creativity. I want a mac and cheese dish right. that I've never seen. Ryan, this one. James not even gonna be here. Yeah, James not even competing anymore. <laughs> he thinks we're light work, he doesn't even care. Vegetable oil, very bad for you. Okay, no seed oils, apparently. So this is the iconic mac and cheese. You can't go wrong with this. So I'm gonna take these noodles. Velveeta is a good one as well, but I'm gonna see. Ah, uh, James using the overhead faucet. This was smart. made for, baby. Very smart. Jeff, acting like we did an overhead faucet? We both use the overhead we faucet. We all overhead oh, faucet. Oh, okay, okay, my yeah. bad. My bad, bro. I don't, I don't know who uses overhead faucet. I just saw James, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm call it trying to no one saw you guys doing it. Can't remember what, 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 are, we, what are we saying? Liar! Oh my god! <laughs> well, you just add your own happy face. This is the best mac and cheese to ever exist. Do you agree? Yeah. It's yeah. the Battle of the Jays! It's better than Novella. Battle Jeff, Novella. Justin, and James. Yeah. What about Battle Let's of the Jays? Let's culture gaze? humans you know what we're talking about. <laughs> Thanks. Zach, I touched my nuts before we started, but I'm washing my hands now. I'm just letting you know. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I will not be washing my hands. That's Me and Jeff I, touched our nuts like together. That's, that's a, whoa, whoa, wait. Whoa! Touch cheese. them at the same time or touch them physically both together? Uh, that's, that's, yeah, we're not gonna say. Okay. Uh, so we got soft, uh, ripened cheese. brie cheese. I think this cheddar cheese will be fire. It's habanero, wickly, wick, wickedly. What does that even mean? Wickedly habanero? Crocodilian cheese. The thing is, whoa. Jeff. Thank you. You're welcome. Jeff can't even test try his food. <laughs> Are you gonna try your food? You should. Yeah. You, you try your cheese. You might not. <clears throat> and I'm 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 also lactose intolerant. Ooh, I see somebody grating cheese. He's yeah. getting an A. Justin's helping me. I might have to make a laugh. Cheese. Ah, okay. James cutting up some Havarti. Some Havarti. You ever yeah. accidentally Havarti. grate your Havarti? Oh, what is? Yeah. Oh, smoked black pepper white. You ever accidentally grate your hand? That's some good cheese. Whatever that is, that's some good cheese. I feel like James knows his cheeses. Dude, I love eating cheese. Are you lactose, yes, like for real? Me? Is... No? This is oh, the, the crock. No, James has an iron stomach. Yeah, bro, James is not allergic or intolerant I to anything. Meat. I love dairy. Okay. Um, okay. Shit, I don't want to. It's definitely gonna melt easier that way. Yeah. Definitely melt easier. Good point. Easy now. He's okay, open. Justin going on the news. 
Ah, okay. A tricolor rotini for Justin. Yeah, my noodles. Respect it, respect it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's Just up to you. with simple sharp cheddar cheese. Careful, Ooh. Chad. Yeah, you don't Any wanna... type of fresh garnish, I know James is going to go right for yeah. it. I already know. James has a fresh He also plant. grows his own out in the garden outside. He does. Ah. <laughs> Justin with the bacon. I was waiting for somebody to grab a meat. Oh, you one thing about me, Zach? I'm gonna grab me some yeah, meat. Yeah, Justin is a meat grabber. After the first lap, I think Justin's probably the most ahead out of anyone. He's already got his noodles going. He's got the bacon cooking. James is more of a prep first, cook after. That's a great cheese. I feel like Justin's like a prep and cook at the same time. You know what? And Jeff is just doing his thing. Jeff is Jeffing. Fuck it, man. Here. Maybe we'll find one you're right. I don't make the rules about it. <laughs> Sometimes it's scary to eat his food. Mm. James on a little adventure right now. I feel like you get really excited oh. for these videos. Too. Yes, yes, food videos. Ooh. If I could, we'd be a food channel, both of us. And some creatine? That could go hard. Is James in his fucking garden, dude? Yeah, he's definitely, he might be taking a nap. I know, I know the game. I've played it a couple times. Fuck it. That cheddar is good. That is sharp. Yeah, it's very sharp. Definitely needs cut with another cheese. Oh, it needs a cut? Okay, 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 okay. That's good to know. Ooh. So it's too sharp. What is that, Gouda? Gouda. Careful, okay? Whoa. Who's, do, who's, who's doing the dino buddies? Huh? I ate them before what, we was was that, Oh, okay, okay. I'm just making option? sure. I didn't know that was this option. was not an option. Jeff? I don't know if Jeff has selected a noodle. Ah, Jeff has the Kraft yes. elbow noodles. Yes. Interesting choice. You gotta go for OG. With all of these. James, where are the plates at usually? No, thank you. I don't want to, my hands. Until I try their food. <laughs> it's more of a, a crush. Good luck to stir this into. Then, uh, definitely an interesting young man. Certified bacon cooker. That's, that's what I'm doing. What was your chef name? I don't know why, but that kind of sounded racist to yeah, me. Sure. I think it's just the, the tone that they said it in. Maybe it was the hard R. Certified bacon cooker. I don't know. James cooking. I see James. I see James. I see Jeff. I see Jeff with some bacon. Yeah. I see Justin seasoning up. Justin using pepper. I do like a. Uh, I do like seasoning. Justin could cook. Justin. Okay. Justin is like appearing he that he can cook. Yes. Yes. The apparitions are there. Uh, if it don't taste good, at least the idea. You know, the thought process was there. You know, yeah, facts. At least, yeah, the, he used all the gouda. It's crazy. No. No, oh, you didn't. You didn't. Oh my bad. My bad. Are you trying to torque on it? Oh, yeah, this thing is on a high boil. Yeah, I need to chill. Quick update. Pretty much like the last one. Jeff seems to be very far behind. He's just crunching Cheetos. Um, I can hear you. Everybody else is cooking. Milk, butter, how much? Oh, right here. Okay. Two teaspoons and one fourth cup Milk. Ooh. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing from Justin right now. Oh shit! Bro, the ceiling fan just came down. It the appears the ceiling down. fan has come down. Careful. Oh my god, who are you? Spider Man. I told you who I thought I was. <laughs> you know. I got Simple too. I gotta do shit! <laughs> I gotta do this 24 times, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Oh my god. Jeff, are you actually measuring the amount of fucking water? Just pour water in the goddamn thing. Bro, if the burner stops working because you're getting water everywhere. So it appears Justin has grabbed a baking dish and it looks like he's gonna bake his mac and cheese, which is fire strategy. Giving tips? What was the tip? You need to emulsify it, but it's, that's, he's gonna make a mess in it in this pan. Emulsify. Yep, that's a word. Jeff, you didn't hit the sentence. 
He needs to emulsify it. He needs a splash emulsifier. Jeff has no idea what that means. It could literally be like a, a racist remark and Jeff would just keep saying it because he has no idea. That one's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks, that one looks really all right, gross. Alright, alright, you know what? I'm gonna restart. No, no, no. no James, James said I look gross right now. I'm reduce the amount of water. What? Is it dog bowl? No, it's a target baking pan, sir. Possibly a dog bowl. Uh, I'm just following the instructions on the mac and cheese box and then adding a little bit of more flavor because it's a good baseline. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just trying to make at least this bacon, make sure it's cooked. I should try it. I really want to try it, but I, I just can't yet. I think I bought about $60 worth of cheese. And Jeff is using the powder cheese from the craft box right now. I don't think I've ever been more upset before even trying a dish. Whoa, 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 James! Let me turn it down for you. Fire in the hole! James, unbothered. It's a normal day at the office. There you go. Gonna reduce the amount of liquids in a little bit. Oh yeah. Mine's terrible. Ranch. Straight up, mine sucks ass. Huh? That's what we like to see in cheese. Little cheese chunks in here. Okay. 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 James seemed to be unhappy with his mac and cheese. My mac and cheese sucks ass. I've been informed that his mac and cheese sucks ass. Justin making great progress. I think he's almost to the stage of baking. Uh, Jeff, I have no idea what he's doing. Don't think I ever will. Okay. Water's finally getting to a little bit more reduction of level. I'm going to add a lid on it to try to heat it up a little hotter. We're moving out here in the kitchen. This is not sponsored at all, but if you guys need a water bottle, I put ice in this thing this morning. It's still solid ice. Simple Modern on Amazon. Mm -hmm. They're so cheap. This one is a 40 ounce. I have an 84 at home. Can keep ice in them for literally like 48 hours. I think James' weakness is either cheese or pasta. Well, he makes good pasta. But when you put them Dude, I just, both together. I just don't understand how to make the cheese sauce at all. The cheese sauce. Hey, I did try How to find flour. I couldn't find it. Is it just? It? It's just not good. The cheese is not incorporating at all. <laughs> did you strain the water? Out of the pasta? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I put chicken broth. In. Maybe. Oh, uh, maybe chicken broth and maybe too much milk. They have small ass cutting boards here. It's crazy. You found a new one. I mean, Jeff is just Jeff is. Jeff, Jeff is his own man. Jeff is Jeffing right now. Jeff is once again Jeffing. Bro, right now. He's kind of having like a midlife crisis. You Mid could throw me in there to thicken it up. He is All right. Thick. Just kidding. Get on the cutting board. <laughs> Which part would you use? It's <laughs> the rump roast. <laughs> All right. Freshly made back in the vineyard. I swear me and Jeff are making the same pasta. Are we? <laughs> I'm liking what I'm seeing from Jeff right now. And I, I really hate saying that, but I am liking it. I just got too much cheese. No, there's, it's, there, it's oh, mac and cheese, Jeff. There's I know. No such but, too much cheese. But look at that cheese, look. It's, it could thicken in the. I, I need to thicken it up. Again. Again. How are you thicken up mac and cheese? Yeah, look at nice. Cheese. She's got to let it keep cooking. So we got Justin in the oven. We got Jeff looking real nice. His cheese is like. So creamy, which is crazy, but I mean, he did use the powder, so a little bit of a cheat, but he's added a bunch of extra stuff. James, on the other hand, is having a mental breakdown and has no idea what he's doing. I don't know how to cook mac and cheese. James, I'm malfunctioning, bro. I am malfunctioning. Right Sparks are flying out of James' head. Also, just want to thank you guys for all the support on the cooking videos. If you guys want to see who is the best at making another dish, let me know down in the comments what you guys think the boys should make next.
That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So we got turmoil over here. No, you're, you're in a good spot. I think James may have just had a breakthrough. Hopefully. I'm thinking as of right now, I can't really see Justin's in the oven, but if we're going off just first initial inspection at this moment, Jeff's in the lead. Might be about three or four days before I have a bowel movement after this video. Oh yeah, Jeff. Cook it. Oh no, I feel like Jeff might smack, bro. Yeah, Jeff's low key, like, his is thick, bro. Medium heat. You know, it might be good, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, be good enough. Yeah, right. cause like, if say, mine and James yeah, is yeah. just suck. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Jeff, bro. What's there? Hey, hey. no, I think I pulled it together somehow. I honestly, I can't even hate. Jeff has his own way of doing things, but somehow, sometimes, it just happens to work out. Mm -hmm. You cannot ever underestimate Jeff. I'm lucky. Garnish with chives? I think you do. Okay. Justin's just pulled his mac and cheese out of the oven, and I have one word. Phenomenal. Whoa, that thing looks, that looks great. I've been to a cookout or two, Zach, you know what I'm saying? You definitely are invited. Is this a dog bowl? Is this our? <laughs> Might be a dog bowl. Actually, Bro, why are there dog bowls in the kitchen? <laughs> this is not a dog bowl, right? Dogs gotta eat too. That's For all my dogs, you know what I'm saying? Jeff's doing something right now. He poured it out of there and it looked like a grandma dish. Zach, can I go first to get out of the way? Sure. You have to get yeah. it out of the way. Yeah. Justin had a test plate and has finished the whole plate. Damn, quickly. that was a good sign. We got about two minutes left, so I'm gonna go get my judging area ready. Time, chef. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, chefs. All right, first dish here, Chef James. Made you a buffalo mac and cheese with some gorgonzola. Buffalo mac and cheese with some gorgonzola, okay. I haven't heard that. Well, James was not very happy with his dish. I think it's Molten steaming. Salt. This is steaming, piping hot. Great presentation. Thank you. Some good smells coming from it. He's just, Zach is an instant reaction type. Or it's so complex that he just has to digest. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's analyzing. Yeah, your flavors your, your <coughs> are so unique. It's never... What's the last time you made mac and cheese? I never made mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Only on video. I've never made it outside. You don't video. like mac and cheese? I'm not a mac and cheese guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. He ate a good A lot amount. of flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Layers of flavors. Mm -hmm. Layers of flavors. There's a pre-taste. There's a bold body. Mm -hmm. There's an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. So she's hot. She's I mean, she fucks, <laughs> to be honest. She does fuck. She's a fucker. Big body count. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Chef James. I have a heartfelt story behind this one. Go ahead. So there was a place in my college town that I used to always get buffalo mac and cheese from. I don't mm -hmm. think I did them proud, but that's the inspiration. I used to get it a lot. It was okay. good there. Inspired by a college restaurant he used to frequent. I, I like that. I don't remember the name of it, but Rutgers. Rutgers it the name. I'm a sucker for a backstory. Mm -hmm. All right, who's up next? Okay, uh, I will go next. <laughs> Just kidding. Cut. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't decide what the winner is. Next up, <laughs> Chef Jeff. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, this dish is a mixture of the old school, nostalgic childhood mac and cheese because majority of the items is a craft mac and cheese. A lot of us grew that, grew up eating that, and we added a lot of the fancy cheeses that were provided, added a good amount of seasoning, some butter, 
and the bacon bits on top just to bring it all together. Okay. And it's in a dog bowl. In a dog bowl. Looks like eggs. <laughs> it looks really like, dry. Like a, uh, like a, you know the bites from Starbucks? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it looks like. Like a big bite. It might have been a bad bite. There's pockets, <laughs> pockets of anxiety throughout the whole. <laughs> There's dish. some good ones in there, though. Yeah. yeah. You got, you got to surface the area. Yeah. <laughs> but, you have to surface but, the area. But after at one point, if it doesn't get better, it's just... I would like to say I did not make this dish. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him under the bus, Jeff. <clears throat> All right. Last up here for me. Um, so I have a uh, five cheese blend mac and cheese <clears throat> okay. with bacon bits mixed in, topped with a uh, two cheese panko crusted hot Cheeto crust. Okay. Um, it's inspired by this Latina girl in high school that I used to sit next to that always had hot Cheetos and she had that mac and cheese, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? So, she sounds like she smelled bad. No, she was so hot. She doesn't mean she didn't smell bad. It doesn't mean she didn't smell bad. She did smell bad. <laughs> but she was hot. But she was hot. Okay. Mm. You never know how to feel about that. Hot and smelly. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Justin. You guys can clear the kitchen? Yes. Yeah, I want to try it. Huh? All right, so we're gonna do everything on a scale of one to five. We have category for noodles, cheese, taste, presentation, and creativity. Oh All right, I'm gonna be honest, you guys. If I <clears throat> manage to lose to Jeff today, I feel like I need to hit the bottom of this thing. I don't think you're gonna lose. Jeff's was disgustingly salty. Um, I mean, it was... All right, let's play the alphabet game. Okay. Orangutan, or apple. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the fuck up, James. No shot. No, no way to orangutan. It was just not good. It literally just tasted, if you had bacon in the bite, it just tasted like bacon because everything else was so bland. Yes. Chefs, gentlemen. Mm. I've tallied up the scores here. Mm -hmm. First category, noodles. Mm. It's gonna go by texture of the noodle. Start with Jeff. You got a one out of five. They were mushy. Um, you used the Kraft macaroni. The only thing about the Kraft macaroni is it doesn't need cooked as long. And I feel like it was just a little overcooked. It ended up being like a mush, sort of. Um, James, noodles, you got a three. Um, you use the, the good elbow macaroni, but I also feel like it was just cooked a little too long while you were trying to thicken that cheese. Mm -hmm. Justin, noodles, you got a five. You got a five. He knows how to cook. Um, I feel like noodles. when you, I tasted one after you had boiled them. They were al dente. James is, James, yeah, James my, is fired upset, right bro. now. I gotta be up, I gotta take my anger out on something. He's really mad. Down. I'm mad at the um, right now. I tasted after you boiled them. They were al dente. Then you baked them, and I feel like you just finished them off perfect. Um, you got a five. Nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, cheese. <clears throat> Jeff. You got a three. Nice. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't um, considering you started with a powdered cheese, you added more, um, and the cheese really wasn't bad. Justin. You got a four. I liked it. You had a um, bunch of different cheeses in there. There was cheese on top. Your cheese pool was good. Really liked it. James, you got a five. Let's go! Wow. Let's your, go. The consistency of your cheese, the meltiness, it just, just, it was really good. Your cheese looked great, felt great, tasted great. Taste. Taste. Jeff. You got a two. Um, it was extremely salty. I don't know how much salt you put on it <laughs> or what happened or if it was during the noodle making or just put in the cheese, but it was 
I did sprinkle salt at the end because I thought it would look cool. Oh, salt baited? Yeah. I tried different places on the dish and they were all salty. That's you, the anxiety. You, you, you hit all the pockets. I hit all the anxiety pockets, yeah. I think. Mm. Yeah. Um, taste, Justin. You got a five. Wow. Ooh, nice. so close. It's close. Tasted phenomenal. I mean, I didn't think I would like the hot Cheetos on there, but it actually it didn't, I mean, it didn't do anything wrong. I feel like it didn't really add a whole lot, but it didn't do anything wrong either. It didn't hurt it. Nice. James, taste, you got a five. Let's go. Layers Dude, upon bro. layers so upon good, layers of taste. <laughs> it was a journey. Thank you. It was a journey. It was a taste journey. Presentation. You guys all got fours. Let's go. Great presentation. Um, Justin's was cool. I like the tricolor noodles. I actually gave Justin a three, but I bumped him up to a four because I forgot he used the tricolor noodles. It was just really cool. I feel like the red from the Cheetos kind of added like a little flair. Jeff, your dish looked amazing. Yeah. Not gonna lie. It looked really, really good. Tasted like shit, but it looked <laughs> really good. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover because it's not might not taste good. Mine, mine is more of like, you put it on display. Yeah, so. and leave it there. Don't <laughs> touch it, it, don't eat it, then, don't even smell it. And then cook their dish. Yeah, you know and then cook something else completely different. Um, presentation, I mean, James, you. Thank you, man. I would have given you a five if it wasn't just on a plate, but I understand where you were going with it. Yeah. Um, it, it was just, it was just missing something to get at that five. Yeah, I tried but I like to, the different I colors. The, I tried to shape it with the bowl, but it kind of yeah. just it just kind of dispersed. dispersed yeah. yeah, I understand. You got a four. That's fun. All right, creativity, Jeff. You got a one. You did craft mac and cheese with some other shit thrown in it. Um, but all the way down to the elbow macaroni from the craft box. <laughs> I respect it, but I cannot condone it. Oh, there's a lot of pockets, though. There's a lot of pockets. If you want to crush a giant shell, probably feels good. We did it. Okay. <laughs> Creativity. Justin, you got a five. Wow. Super creative. You baked it. You put stuff on top of it. You mixed a million cheeses into it. There was a smokiness. There was a, a sharpness. There was, there was a lot of different things. Um, and they were all good. Um, James, creativity, you got a five. Let's go! A buffalo mac and cheese finished like that and the way you pulled everything together in the end, um, it was really cool to see. It was really cool to see. So, with that being said, Jeff, with a total out of a possible 25, you got 11. James is mad for him. I'm mad for you, Joe. Justin, total points. Out of 25, you got 23. Wow. 23. Only thing you missed points on was cheese and presentation. And it was only one point for each. James, total score, 22. Making Justin our winner and champion chef of the video. Good job, Jeff. Justin. Justin good cook. Congratulations Justin. to Justin. I mean, dude, your dish. We'll take another look at it here. It was, it, I mean, it's kind of died down now. It's been out for a little bit. But when it came out, it was piping hot. It was super cheesy. Your cheese pull was awesome. Maybe, maybe take it from in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the cheese is still cheesing in here. I mean, I, I, can you guys even see this? Like, this look, at, look at the top layer of cheese. Just look at the pull, dude. Damn. Nobody else had a cheese pull. Justin's the only one with a cheese pull. Justin, congratulations you, on being our top chef today. Appreciate it, Jeff. Really was a pleasure to have you in the kitchen. Make sure you guys comment down below what you would like to see the boys cook next. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.